Hello, this is Stream. Welcome to my YouTube channel. Today, I'm going to implement SSL Commerce. SSL Commerce is one of the most used payment gateway system in Bangladesh. So let's see what they want us to implement. Let's go to their developer page. So in the first step, they want us to build an API for transition session. Then we'll need to post post manager okay customer redirections URL mentioned in JSON parameter gateway paste URL we need this property later on so let's visit their npm package so recently I figured out that they have released a lot of version in a single month you can see here so I was using 1.0.4 so then figured out that lot of change made and latest is 1.6.6 so we will today use 1.6.6 the latest one okay so we need to install SL commerce package so first we need to initialize our npm package so we, uh, I'm initializing npm, npm it test. Okay, everything's okay. So let's see the packages on. Mm -hmm. So I'm going to use averages. You can use integers. It's not a problem. Okay. So we'll need few more packages such as express body parser dot env last but not the least asl commerce okay let's install it So let's jump to the code. Let's create app.js post express to record express. Let's save it. Parser require body parser then yes yes yep okay uh, then require dot nv oh. you see i already have dot nv file here i have store id and store password for sl commerce you can get it too from sl commerce developer page just visit there and create a sandbox account you will get them okay so let's use body parser you will encode it extend false then let's use this one use body parser dot json ok let's create the api So they want us to create a session API transition session. So I will request. Let's write it request. 
then make a callback and make a async callback request response next so okay okay i have not required the sql cons library also so let's require it so we already have it here let's copy it and add it here they will copy it their way So we have data object. Okay. So here you can see true. If you are using SL Commerce for live version, make it true. As I'm using sandbox account, so I'm making it false. And then <coughs> they need two more parameter. So first one is store ID. So I already have it in uh, ENB. So I'm just writing it. Store S T O R E then password process dot env dot password okay so far so good then we need to make a return so let's make it here Return response dot status. Let's make it to two hundred. JSON. Okay. Um, we'll redirect to the gateway page. So I have told you about this property. Okay. We'll use this. So if the data is valid or we receive any data with this property, no sorry, uh, let's copy it from here. Okay. Let's put this code inside it okay else return status four zero zero this one Nessus SSL transform was not successful. Okay. Okay, so we'll need to do a few things like success serial, failure, and cancel URL and IPN. So let's make some more API. Oh, it will be post method. So make SSL payment success. Okay. I'll make a callback. Yes, so request those response next so we'll return response status 200 json data request dot body whenever 
our payment will be successful it will hit this api and we will get uh, some value property key value property in the in this api and we will return it in the response okay so let's copy it and make it for the cancel so Uh, first, we'll make failure. Let's make it for mm, so Then another four cancel. And another four IPM. Cancel. Let's put this URL into our session. So I already have, sorry, I already have the root URL. It is localhost 80. So it is in the ENB. So I will just use that ENB. I'm using my laptop keyboard. Basically, I use external keyboard for a long time. I fix my laptop keyboard, so it is small. Okay. So root slash We'll change the URL. Okay. IPN cancel failure. Okay. Hmm. So far, so good let's listen to a port and dot listen i have also the port in the np so let's use it making a call back to see if the port is running or not also dot log process dot env dot port port so let's see if the app is running or not okay so let's init the browser was successful okay no first wrong <coughs> store already store password let's console load the data I 
make a mistake store password okay store password uh, let's restart oh finally okay now we are in the SSO Commerce Payment Gateway. We can use card, mobile banking, net banking. So I'm going to use mobile banking. Let's use Bcash. Then use success. Let's see what it hit. Yes, it hit our SSL payment success URL. So we are also responsing uh, the value. So this is the value. So I want to add some more information about the IPN. So whenever you make a payment, um, ESL Commerce will give you a status if the payment has been successful or not. You will listen it from the IPN. So I have made the API here. You will also um, need to add this URL to your developer account. So if you get the status valid then make the order successful or valid to check the uh, SL commerce documentation you will find more status and this was just a initial setup so do try it out okay and do follow the documentation so thank you uh, do subscribe for the latest video